Huh. Wait a second. I don't know which way that goes. Which way does this go? See, look, I'm thinking trees. I'm wondering if trees are a sign. If because there's trees up there that maybe we can get up there? I don't know. I don't know. I'm really I'm really trying to think about this. Cuz I want to I just I want to get somewhere new. I just I can't figure it out. I can't figure out how to get out of here. Anything under the bed? Nope. Backpack. It's definitely worth checking under beds. Um I found a lot of stuff under beds before, so uh food and drink. Let's we need to start eating some stuff. Uh, I like also that they added the smash feature to the cans. It's, it's, it was, it really sucked having like a bunch of cans and not having a can opener. And you're just kind of sitting there going, well, uh, <laughs> I'm going to die because I can't eat these cans that I can't do anything with. So I like that they added that feature. All right. Um, let's do beef jerky. Uh, let's let's just keep going. Let's just try to fill our. Let's eat this pork and beans. Let's try to get above two thousand, which I think we've just gotten. We'll drink some water. We'll get our. There we go. And drink. Okay, so uh, we are good. A little bit fatigued, and we just we're gonna pick up a bunch of new food too. A little bit fatigued, pretty cold, but shouldn't be out here. Too much longer. We do need to kind of step this process up a bit of picking things up. I don't want to miss anything though, but it is what it is. If we miss something, we miss something. We have a good amount of supplies as it is. So. Uh, but yeah, the one thing that I just, you know, there's there's got to be, what is that? Oh, it's just a board. thought it was a little thing in the snow. But you know, as I mentioned before, the later on you start surviving, the longer you start surviving, the more you need to, uh... I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Yeah, I'm getting encumbered, which is an issue. But, um, hopefully it won't slow us down too much. Once we start walking slow, that's when... Hey, another... Man, these things are not rare, I guess. Either that or I just got extremely lucky, I can't tell. But... Once you start surviving later on, because the longest I survived in this game was eight days, and once you start surviving for an extremely long time, that's when you start getting encumbered and you have too much supplies and it's hard for you to walk around, so you got to set up sort of a base camp. i got to find a good base camp that is around sort of the center of the map, sort of a way to get to the areas that I've already explored and get to the new areas. Problem is, I don't know the new areas. Uh, gotta go. I think like, ooh, I think the uh, this this cabin, um, not this cabin, but the 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 main kind of big cabin at the top of the lake might be a good place, just because it's by the railroad tracks. It's kind of in the center of the railroad tracks. Uh, you can kind of get around the map a little bit there. It has a stove indoors, which is nice. Has a couple beds. So it's it's a pretty good. It has a couple of cabinets and drawers for storing things. Because I believe if you leave something in a cabinet or a drawer, it, it'll stay. I, I believe. Any of this gear. So yeah, this is not good. That my guy's complaining about gear. So we're gonna go this way. Um, the reason we're gonna go this way is because this kind of wraps around to the other cabins. We don't have to walk on the ice. There's no real reason why we're avoiding the ice. I kind of just want to check this out. But look how steep it is. There's no way that you could walk up that. There's got to be, there's got to be, hmm. Oh God, there's got to, I just, it's hard. Really, it's hard to find a way out. You know, there's a lot of cool stuff out there in the world that <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever be able to see. So, it's, it's unfortunate, but I'll keep looking of course, and, you know, try to 
find a way out. Goddamn freezing. You know, maybe... I mean, I don't... I, I'm pretty sure I could go online and someone could tell me, hey, look, another one in the same exact spot. Nice. I'm pretty sure I could go online and someone could tell me, hey, you know, get to this place, take a left, go up this hill, and boom. You know. They could probably tell me step by step of how to get somewhere new. But at the same time, I don't want to do that. You know, I want to experience it for myself. But... I don't know. I'm torn. I'm torn between wanting to experience something new and wanting to find it myself. Uh, between just going, hey, I, I want to experience it. You know, I don't care what, how I, how I get there. So, I don't know. For now, I'm not there yet. I can't tell you if I will be. I don't want to be, but it's just... want to see these new areas. Man, we are picking up a ton of supplies. My guy is not liking it. I'm liking it. He's not. Because I'm not the one carrying it. But it is slowing us down. We are walking a bit slower. So. This is going to be an issue. But what we're going to do is we're going to kind of cut through there. That's, that's the little roundabout to the main cabin. This is the last of the uh, late cabins yeah, that we need to, to slow me down. that we need to explore. So we'll get there. We'll get up to the big cabin. We'll go rummage through the big cabin, kind of get our condition back up a little bit, make sure our game saves, and then we'll end it there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Nothing here. It looks like. All right, let's go. Yeah, I just. We're it's it's we are slower than before. I just hope that we don't get the encumbered. Because once we get the encumbered on our screen, that's when we know things are. And we are a lot slower than we were before, as you can tell. I wonder if it's worth shooting that deer over there and just getting the getting all that meat. Just you know, because we're already encumbered. Why not just go crazy? <laughs> Wow, this is going to take a long time. I might just cut. I might just cut till we get to the... Uh, till we get to the cabin. Do we want to go that way or do we want to get that deer? Oh, that's a tough choice. You know what? We're going to go this way. We're going to go through. I'm going to leave that deer. I know there's a deer out here, so... You know, I can get there. I can kind of drop some supplies. I can, you know... Get my condition. Or I can get all the things I'm carrying down a bit. So that way I'm not encumbered and I'm not slow. And then I can come out, I can shoot a deer, and I can get a load of venison and, you know, be good. So. Mystery Lake Western Access. Okay. So cold. Just on the lake. Yeah, so that one must be Eastern Access right over there. That little. So this is Western Access, that, that one's Eastern Access. It's just, uh, you know, I don't know what is through here. We can't sprint anymore, which is an issue. I'm not sure I'm going to make it. But we're definitely encumbered. You're going to make it, man. You're going to make it. I know you are. But yeah, so we're just going to kind of walk through this valley. Um, we're going to see if there's a way out through this valley. There might be. There might not be. I think I've been through this before. I just wasn't thinking in the mindset of trying to escape. Not really trying to escape. Just trying to explore something new. But, I don't know. I don't know if we can, we might be able to, like, climb up that, get on there. I just don't know. Really pretty, though. Really nice. I can't wait for winter. I cannot wait for winter. Uh, I love the cold so much, but I can't take this heat anymore that we're getting out here in uh, California. It is just, it's, it's just nuts. What time is it? Is that the sun? Ah, oh, it looks like the moon. But yeah, I just, I can't take this heat that we're getting out here. I mean, it's, it's the middle, almost the middle of October. And, you know, we're getting 80, 90 plus days. What is this now? Hold on. Huh. Wait a second. I don't know which way that goes. 
Which way does this go? I wonder if that way's to the cabin. I'm just going to kind of peek over the ridge here. See if I can see where this might lead to. Too heavy. Can't move. Where does this lead to? Huh. Okay, we're gonna hold. We're gonna hold off. I think this might be. This is gonna be a way that we're gonna need need to explore. But we seriously need to drop some stuff. Our condition is declining. We're encumbered. You know, we're not gonna. We're not going to be able to explore much with what we're carrying and how much we're carrying. So we're going to need to seriously get to this cabin, pick up whatever's there, and just start sort of getting the weight down. Um, which, again, is, is part of the issue of surviving for so long. But that is... I'm, I'm mentally marking that. That is somewhere that we're going to need to check. And I believe they might have fixed the... Oh, we're exhausted now. I believe they also might have fixed the uh, the issue with when they when they update the game the save is save breaks because I, I played off camera a while ago saved the game went and loaded it before I started recording and it loaded me right back where I was and everything so I hopefully that is fixed. Oh boy, this is uh, this is a struggle. But yeah, hopefully that's fixed. So hopefully we won't lose this save. I don't want to lose this save. I know every time I start, I start a new game. Uh, I don't like doing that. I, I want to continue, but, you know, it's it's an alpha. You gotta take the good with the bad. But that's definitely somewhere to go explore. That's... We need to go there. And we need to drop some gear. Oh, man, we're at 92 pounds. We are not feeling good. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just, I'm going to go ahead and just cut to when we get to the cabin because it's going to, at this rate, we're going to be walking for a while. All right. We have slowly made it out of the, the little crevasse there. And, uh, we're back at the cabin. So... What we need to do now is we need to get in, drop some of this stuff, get our weight down, get our condition back up, and hopefully turn this around, making us pick up all this gear a good thing and not something that is bad, which is kind of what it's turning into camp office. So that's what we need to... We need to... Ooh, just sprained my ankle. That is not good. <laughs> sprained my ankle again. All right. I don't feel so good. Okay, let's rummage through here. We can get upstairs. We have a lot of reclaimed wood and firewood and everything. There's a desk in here now. Was there always a desk here? I don't know if there was. But uh, we can get a fire going, which would help us with it, our, you know, freezing. Um, to weigh me down. We can then work on our, on our ankle, get some food in us, melt some snow, get some water. And hopefully, uh, turn our condition around a bit. Because, yeah, we're pretty, uh, we we're pretty... Some place to escape this cold. We're pretty hurt right now. We're, our condition is not great right now. It's, it's pretty bad. Hmm, another can opener. I feel like there was, was there something back here? Aid. Soon. Nope. Okay. Soda, pork and beans, anything else on the very, very bottom? Nope. Okay. Let's go through this file cabinet. Oh, really can't wait to get my guys some food and rest and get him back up to a, a good condition. Because we are, this is how slow we're moving. It took me quite some time to walk through that valley. <laughs> and now that we've sprained an ankle, that does not help. Which makes sense now. Smart Spraining smart. my ankle with how much weight I'm carrying, that part does make sense. Because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm tired, I'm carrying too much. I understand spraining my ankle, but just, you know, not caring as much, not being tired, just walking up a slight incline, spraining your ankle, hmm. 
Not 100% sure if I agree with that. Okay. My guy is just, he's had enough. <laughs> he has had enough. But it's worth it. We got a lot of gear, which is really, really good. So. I could use this. Okay. All right. I believe we picked up everything we possibly can. Let's go ahead and start a fire. Uh, let's go ahead and use the wood matches. Why not? Newspaper is fine. Let's do the reclaimed wood. And let's put an accelerant on it just to get this fire going. I don't believe we have anything to cook. We'll just throw all the... Uh, oops. I wanted to put reclaimed on there. I don't have anything to cook. Uh, let's go ahead and put another reclaimed on there. Let's melt another gallon. And I know my guy hates my hates me right now because I'm sitting here, you know, doing all this stuff. And he is starving and tired and exhausted and all this. Mm -mm, not good. Not good with the firewood. There we go. Put the last. There we go. So we got a little over an hour, which is good. Get our cold down. Uh, we need to do food and drink. Let's eat this MRE, which will really help us out. 1,700 calories. That'll really help us out. Uh, oh boy. Let's just start going crazy with food. Trying to get ourselves up to the um, 2,500 mark. Let's try to just get it up all the way to the top. So that way when we go to sleep, we have no issues with being hungry or anything. Um... Of course, we have, like, you know, two gallons of water, so we're really good with water. So, but we are getting super close to 2,000, which we just passed. Perfect. Eat. Uh, let's do a drink. What are we at? Almost. Let's do another soda if we have it. How about a can? How about a... Mm, yeah, let's do a granola bar. Why not? Get us right up to the 2,500 mark. Okay. Um, so we are good on all fronts there. We need to take painkillers. Or the, uh, the ankle. Use painkillers. We need to then rest for four... Oh, nope. Alright, cool. Uh, yeah, this is a lot of stuff to go through. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just rest for... Uh, let's just do four hours. Let's just get a lot of rest. That should really help our condition out. So yeah, we're we're doing a lot better. We still need to rest, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go through all this all the clothes we got and and harvest and repair and just do all that off camera. You guys have seen it a million times before, so it's it's quite boring. But uh next time we're gonna go check out that extra way that we found in the valley over there that might lead us to a new area. I don't know. I don't remember ever seeing that before. I don't remember going down it. I don't know what it leads to, but at least we can go check it out. Um, if you guys like this series, remember to like these videos. It really does help me out, and it lets me know that you guys do want to see more of this. And uh, I do want to make this a more regular series, so I will try to work it more into my schedule. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!